Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. Today we have an interesting video of a guy who claims that a great white protected him. Okay. From This sounds... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to wear a hat that's appropriate for this. Maybe I'm switching hats. Maybe protected him from dying old of old age. You know, I'm never one to be like, <laughs> come on, really? I'm not like that, right? Normally. What? But, uh... So you ready? That... That sounds silly, so You're I'm going to wear anymore? something that you inspired me to get. All right. So thank you. Here we go. Thank you for doing that. The eaten was to get in the water far from the whale and just slowly Dice swim that. in until I could see the sharks nicely and see what their reaction was. You know? But I wasn't thinking. I didn't take a stick with my spear gun to push them off you know, or anything. I just had my GoPro. So I slide into the water. Within 10 seconds, I've got like four duskies trying to bite me. And I turn around with about a four meter white sitting next to me. This thing. That's what they do. They eat. They do shark stuff. They eat when they're hungry. <laughs> Weak I prey. Oh, he shouldn't be tight. No. I'm and not for that. No. Listen, listen. I got something. <laughs> we definitely, 100% as divers are against grabbing on to marine life and holding on to them for a ride whether it's a turtle a shark a whale a dolphin it's dangerous for you it's dangerous for them that's right in fact it can actually drown turtles because they're trying to go up to breathe i had to give that message out i'm sorry that's already i'm like i don't like it yeah maybe i want to try and come and have a look so i thought it was actually floating past Ellawal on a north-south current going into the bay at Scotra and the bay at Scotra has got a lot of shark nets so I thought okay we can't let it get in the bay so my initial thought was to try and anchor the carcass to stop it getting to the shark nets so the sharks would have a bit of a chance you know? otherwise they're all going to end up in the nets it's going to just be a huge storm so I took one of my old trawler anchors came out came to the whale so the first trick was getting a rope around the whale's tail so I could drop the anchor. <laughs> I was like, uh, I tied onto the whale with the boat. So like now we ride alongside the whale. And now I've got to get in the water to go and tie a rope around the tail. And it's like, tiger shark, tiger shark, tiger shark, great white, tiger shark. It's like, no gaps. I mean, how do you even get to the tail? And it's not, the tail's not this big. It's like this big. So you've got to actually swim around the tail to put the rope in. You can't just loop the tail you know <laughs> so i'm telling the guys on the boat okay now make sure that there's nothing in the way because i can't look and get in you know so now i'm going to bail into the water i've got the rope to swim around the tail and the guys okay it's clear it's clear so i dive into the water and i headbutt something it's like oof, straight in as i get in the water so i like reverse turn wow. around i've got this big black eye looking at me i wow. just headbutted about a four and a half meter great white <laughs> <laughs> These guys, they, they dropped me so bad. <laughs> so Imagine I that. Boat, and they're like, okay, now it's clear. So I swim down it, but it's still, I mean, it's just like sharks everywhere. Look at like, that. Thing. What would you do so if you were vicious. dropped in and there was a 12 foot, roughly, that's what he said, great white swimming by? You mean before I pass out? I don't think I, you, I, I think I would. I just want to think about it. I paused myself for a second to yeah. think. I don't think I'm not I'm not scrambling and going for the water. If I see that guy's just Probably busy busy with his Try dead to shark a, carcass, to eat a whale. I'm yeah. just standing back and watching because he's not going to turn and be like, "You look better than right. that dead whale." In fact, that they want unlimited easy, food. This whale and they want easy weak prey. That's what right. they do. Right. Go around the tiger, go underneath the tail. How vicious that the is. Other side, and I get the loop through. And then the boat's moved away. I've got to swim back, get in wow. the boat, you know. Tie, tie the anchor, throw the anchor, and the whale stops. Now it's anchored, you know. So tiger. we drift the Look at that. boat's beauty. Drift away. And it's a tiger shark. Decide, okay, maybe we should How try and get in and film something. Is. Powerful. It was a pretty bad idea. <laughs> I decided that it was like, probably the, the least chance of being eaten was to swim, get in the water far from the whale. Yeah and just slowly swim in until I could see the sharks nicely and see what their reaction was, you know. But I wasn't thinking, I didn't take a stick with or a spear gun to push them off, you know, or anything. I just had my GoPro. <laughs> so That's I slide it. into the water. Within 10 seconds, I've got like four duskies trying to bite me. Wow. It was ridiculous. I've never, yes, I was kicking them and hitting them off. 
So I guess they're I'm in sitting a, on the surface, and suddenly I see the sharks back off. They're in a frenzy. Yes, that's a bit strange. They just gave up like that? That so, so easily. And I turned around. There's about a four meter white sitting next to me, swimming past slowly. Twelve so foot. I realized, okay, the small sharks have backed off because the white has come through. <laughs> Small so like sharks were trying to bite him. Of the two evils, you know. Okay, this is my new dive buddy. <laughs> Swim with the white, rather. <laughs> the white took me all the way back to the whale. Okay, so the lesson learned is that the hungry sharks are the ones far away, and the full sharks are the ones close by. So the safe point is to get in on the whale. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Because there's a quite a big pecking order. I actually realised it makes a lot of sense afterwards. Put late by then, but wow, that cool. The big sharks will push the little sharks off, and they've got to wait their turn you know, until the big sharks are finished. Then the little sharks will duck in and, come and eat and get their share. You know? That's so very in interesting. The, meantime, the three, two, three, four meter duskies and big, all the little tigers and stuff are all getting pushed off to the side. They're all starving. You know? So it's a really bad idea to swim through the starving sharks to get to the full ones. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever jump in on a whale, Good point. Get in on the fat sharks, not the skinny ones. <laughs> you would think that the small ones are safe. Well, I, in the water. I really learned something here. Look I realized a couple of shortfalls with my plan to film the sharks <laughs> eating the whale and everything. Um, one of the shortfalls is I only had a GoPro 3. So it's only HD, not 4K. The next problem is I didn't have a stick for it. So you've got to hold it in your hand. Powerful. Problem number three is I've got no zoom. How close so he is. You've got to be within 30 centimeters to get a shot. <laughs> 30 centimeters, four, 12 inches. Only about four meter visibility. Look so at that. You couldn't beauty. really see them coming until they were on you. You know, So it was quite a trick to use. That was a get huge good footage tiger shark. And not That's get a tiger. Sort of That's a tiger. I've seen it that big. <laughs> But since you had to be like 30 centimeters away, it was very difficult. Oh, man, it's huge. So I found the easiest way to get in on the shark, where the sharks were feeding, was actually to just swim alongside and just gently hold the dorsal and let the shark actually guide yeah, that, that would be the well to big, guide no, me no. in with it to get the shot. You know? So, and I see it, all the other divers were like swimming off in every direction. <laughs> trying to get out of my way don't do that <laughs> anybody but i think not. that's the only way i could get some of the really like some of the good shots that i got in um, there was particularly one great white that i watched him go around the carcass left he was going anti-clockwise and he'd come up and take a bite on the same spot um, and then go around again same spot go around again so i decided okay this is the guy grab his fin pulls me up onto the carcass start filming and he turned off left every time he turned off left so i came in on the right hand side filming and he's like Dude, i just right seen that filming and biting and he turns into me right <laughs> what a nice feeling and then he swim around the carcass again left left come up take a bite turn off left thought, okay try again go up left turns right back into me again yes so i was like no horrible fish <laughs> he doesn't even care about the guy yeah but anyway I didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> what an experience. Unbelievable. I think my family thought I was a little bit loony from when I was tiny oh, chasing dolphins? anything that moved in the sea. They thought anything in the sea is going to eat you, you know? <laughs> so, it gave me a good direction in life. <laughs> Still haven't finished chasing them, though. <laughs> Beautiful. Probably when I was about five or so. Tiger. Became a lifeguard at Winkle, Life Saving Club. Well, I wanted to become a lifeguard, but they told me I had to wait till I was eight. <laughs> but I think I was just very persistent. So Look I at that tiger. I like just like maybe five and a half or so. And there were a couple of the older lifeguards that I really looked up to. That were, and I used to love their stories, you know. And, and one of the things I always heard them talking about was like riding on dolphins, you know. So it was my. That was the start of my sort of crazy chase of dolphins and sharks, you know, because they'd talk about sharks, the seeing sharks on their swims and, you know, and riding the dolphins' fins, you know, and it's like, yes, it sounded so amazing to me. It was like, yeah. probably from when I was this six is an years old, old video my life's ambition to just grab on a dolphin and get a ride. You know? Yeah, well, this is an old video because, honestly, it wasn't so frowned upon, and now that's a big no-no. Yeah. Like all these guys explained. Look and it that. took me years and years and years. I must have swum 100 kilometers, flat out chasing every dolphin I could find 
and I never even got close to touching one. It was ridiculous, you know. And probably only when I was like 15, 16, I started to realize like, you know, I think they were just trying to get the girls because this really doesn't happen. <laughs> but by then I was so hooked, it was really, ah, I just couldn't stop her. So I think I was probably about 30, the first time I managed to actually touch a dolphin that didn't run away and was uh, quite calm and approached me. I didn't have to even chase it, you know. It was probably my most mind-blowing moment in the sea, you know, when a fish actually so came insane. to me to say hello. Definitely would be amazing. Look at that thing. I've always, Oof. like, wanted to see sharks, you know, from tiny, tiny, small. The first time I saw a shark, I just started to learn to spear fish. I was about eight, eight years old, nine. I had my first little champion obelisk plastic little spear gun, and I was swimming by Amkumar's pier, and a little bulk shark came past. I doubt it was a meter long. <laughs> I got such a fright, I jumped out the sea, I left my gun and float everything behind. I had to get a fisherman to cast and hook my rope and pull my gun back to the beach. <laughs> but it was like, you know, the second time I saw one, it was a bit more like, mm, just check it out. And the third one was like, I swam towards it. And by the fourth one, I wanted to hug the oaks, you know. <laughs> so I think it's, a, I don't think it's a, a love affair as much as a passion getting used to everything and what's happening, you know. So you end up, you know, it's really hard to explain. It's got to be but insane to hang on to a dorsal fin like that and just get, get to read their body language. I know it's wrong, but it's got to be water, crazy. In the water. You know, they speak with their bodies. So every little flick of the eye, movement, flick on the skin, tight, their little dorsal movements, everything means something. Yeah? So you dive with them enough, you actually end up getting to understand what they're saying to a point. You, know? you can see when they're in a good mood, in a bad mood, you can see their personalities from one fish to another. You know, they're all different. So, normal. <laughs> I think this is a good video to kind of show the fact that sharks are not human killing machines like everyone seems to believe and we've covered videos of sharks in the past in the channel and people are like well you know that's because they're not gray whites if they were gray whites you'll be dead here we go several people swimming around with around great whites and nobody's dying the gray whites are swimming by him it's like dude get out of the way i'm trying to eat some whale over here um if they were human killing machines they would have killed everyone that was in the water there because there was no cage, no nothing, not even a weapon. The guy has had a GoPro, um, and that was it. Have there been attacks in the past? Sure, there have been attacks in the past. People have died in the past, but there is hundreds of millions of sharks in the world, hundreds of millions. If you went to the beach, chances are you had a shark very, very close to you, and nothing happened to you because they don't attack humans. They don't. And people are like, are you saying they have never attacked a human? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they don't attack humans. It's like saying people don't eat people. They're not cannibals. Have there been cannibals in the, in the past? Sure. But overall, humans are not cannibals. Right? So sharks don't attack people. That's basically... I mean, that's look, when you, if you dive it. off the coast of Florida, I mean, in Jupiter, there's, there's, it's the shark capital of the world. I think what's fascinating is what I learned. Very interesting. The little guys are like, I'm getting none of this, and I will be aggressive on you because I'm not getting anywhere near the whale. They're not going to let me. That great white had and big, and big tiger, man, yeah. amazing. They, they were not consciously protecting this guy because they're like, I'm going for the yeah. easy prey. The That's really thing. interesting and something I would learn, I guess. Don't hang out with the little bad boys in the back that are starving, <laughs> salivating, being, please let me have a bite of that. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. The, the hierarchy of what's going on in there is super interesting. That was That's great. Dealing with the dusky, you need to eye contact is very important. Um, but in bad, low visibility like that, eye contact doesn't really mean anything. Um, unless they're within a meter or two, and you can have a stick to push them off. Like all the mistakes I made, bad visibility, no stick, only a GoPro. Okay, so only thing I've got left is my knees. <laughs> and hit them with a GoPro is the only other thing. Yeah. So, or if you're lucky, a big white will come up and protect you. <laughs> big white will come out and protect so, you. It was a serious learning curve, I think. 
lesson learned. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it was a lesson the big guys and leave the little guys out of the Yes, that's a cool big lesson. big that is. Really cool lesson that he's really emphasizing. Never thought about that. I, again, please do not, do not I don't think the Sharks actually hold. notice the pressure don't on the hold, dorsal when you're swimming with them. Because you're actually swimming with them. Just, they, you're actually just guiding yourself with them so that you don't move off too far to get the shot. Um, they don't seem to mind at all. Zero, look at that. Zero mind. Yeah. I try not to him. do it, I must admit. It's better not to do it, but if I had a stick, I could stick the camera closer without having to swim too close, I would have just stayed off to the side and swum in on them. But holding a GoPro in your hand gets a little bit tricky trying to do that. So you've got a lot more control if you're holding onto what you're filming. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, also a little bit difficult as well, because like the Tigers at that point have got no sort of no personal space when they're in that, that situation on the whale where they'll actually push you out it's of the so way powerful. to get a bite. You know, they're trying to get bites out of the whale and stuff okay, and they're thing. swimming up and taking mm. bites out of the whale and, and the one will be eating you and you're trying to form it and the other one comes in from the other side and just pushes you out the way to try and get That's a bite. That's the biggest you know? tiger shark I've so, ever seen. No, in, in yeah. normal circumstances, I, I have seen them that big at Tiger Beach in the Bahamas. Eat. Really? Um, yeah. But in that you can pay and you can, you know, watch them Right or wrong, you can you, you get overweighted. You're put down on the ground on your knees, and then they feed them, and the tigers come in, and they're at Tiger Beach in the Bahamas, and they're just absolutely massive like this. Uh, swim right by you. you know, they just like you in the way, move. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to kill you. So just the get out of my way. Seem dude. to have a little bit more better table manners than the tigers. So at least if they see you sitting there, they'll go around you and try and eat the whale. Don't try and push it away. Like, like, <laughs> the gray white will avoid you. Like, oh, you're there? Are just right, crazy. Find another just, spot. Like, hyper bunnies. They just fall over the place, biting everything. Hey, I just don't like them much. <laughs> the Especially small ones. after they try to eat me the first time. <laughs> They're like little angry guys, like, yeah. starving back there. Like, I'll eat anything right now. <laughs> One of the lifeguards I looked up to a lot was a bodybuilder. Um, I can't say names or anything, but... <laughs> So, one of his favorite things used to be, he'd have like a girlfriend, you know, and it'd be a nice day, and the guy would come riding past with his bicycle, the ice cream bicycle. They had these little three-wheel bicycles with ice cream. And then he'd whistle and shout, whoa, ice cream man, come, come. But he was like a big bodybuilder, so it wasn't, he never had a shirt on or anything. So it was like, when he called the ice cream man, it was never a case of just, hey, hello. He would go, come here, you know, like showing off the muscles, you know, he had to get that part in. And then the ice cream guy would come across and he would say to the guy, get the whole routine. I say to the muscle. You see what he say to the ice cream man? Hey, ice cream man, I want two, like, you know, a bodybuilding pose, like two ice creams, you know, one for me and one for my chicky. <laughs> <laughs> I used to die laughing at just used to chase me around and try to swat me. <laughs> this guy's cool. Up. That's really cool. I would love to see the in a month what that carcass looks like. You know it's gonna be just bone. They're gonna eat yeah. every it's gonna be in the bottom of the ocean. single part of that thing. Yeah. And it probably may take them a month. Pretty cool. Good message. Very interesting about yeah. the big guys keeping the little starving guys in the back. I could just imagine those guys in the back like, dude, this is our opportunity. We're not getting the whale. So bite this guy. Bite the, get the diver. Uh, however, nobody, no shark bit anyone and nobody died that day. But you mentioned earlier Tiger Beach. And people going down and watching tigers and, you know, in some case, harassing them. And we actually reacted to a video about tiger sharks feeding in the past. And I'm going to leave a link right here. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Realize the sharks are not man-eating machines. Don't ever hold on to any marine life. I'll leave with that. But they're beautiful. Bye, everybody.